office, he really is relaxed. I mean, you take a year off. In that year, though, you do win the Asian Games. Represent your country. Have a great time. And, uh, well, let's see uh, how this goes. If there's going to be any first bloods. And, uh... Good luck, have fun's coming out here. Well, well I see. Chris, my man, you know, just hits him with the HF. Have fun. No good luck. I still don't understand why would you want to say good luck to you anyone. You sound like my baseball coach when I was in high school. You don't want them to get the, the runes. You don't want them to go, you know, to get lucky. You're not missing uphill, or you're missing uphill. They're not, so. Yeah, so we got true gamers here. As uh, Join true gamers. One of the largest networks of computer clubs worldwide with over 150 cyber arenas. Click on the banner in the uh, stream description and find out more information today. If you can. Are you true gamering right now? I was a true gamer before, yeah. One of the truest of the gamers now, back in my days, you know. I feel like I have a true gamer card. What do you have? I have a show match victory over Seb. Who did you play with? That was during Riyadh Masters? Yeah. 2022 is me, Gareth, Danog, Black, and Mad Cat. And then we traded Seb to the Arabic talent. And you still managed to beat them. Yeah, even though I was using spells in a Winter's Curse. Yeah, that's fine. But, you know, it, it counts as a dub. <laughs> it's, it's a dub. You have that replay downloaded, uploaded on your Google I, disk just in case something yeah. happens to Dota. Yeah, yeah, whole video. I make sure to not only watch, but I listen to you shred me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why show matches are always fun. Observer you board, killed by crit, 100 gold. That's a good way for Tiny to start. Extra XP as well. What is going on with this primal beast? Is this a new set? It has to be a new set. It's like the arms of one set, the back of a different set. He looks tail like a, also looks like it's from a different set. He looks like a mutant. XXS has just toy storied his way into a primal <laughs> beast. Yeah, call, call him Sid. Because he's taking him apart and putting him back together again. So we'll see how this mid-matchup goes. XM. He's like, nice. I don't have to play Meepo in this one. I'm happy. Yeah. Or Marana. I'm really glad that they gave him, again, the last pick, something that we did talk about during the draft. Uh, they tend to last pick his hero so he can win the matchup, while Am is like, well, screw you. You know, we, you, we know you're going to do really well, so good luck. We're going to pick your hero second, sometimes third. Now, Ame pretty secure so far in this event, the safe lane. It's like he never missed a day. Granted, I will say, when the rumors started to arise that he was coming back to Pro I Dota, did not believe it. I believed it. You did? I okay. was always a believer. But I just wanted to say, everybody was like, yeah, he's playing like 18 games a day. That is so much Dota. It is. That's how you come back. Yeah, you play 18 games a day and just win every single one of them. That's a courier kill. Not Zinkyu this time, though. Snaking. That's what you gotta worry about. We didn't even talk about the fact that, you know, you give ZinQ a Monkey King, and all of a sudden your couriers are in a lot of trouble. So they better hope they don't give up that Monkey King. That was the first ban from Falcons. I don't think you're gonna be giving him Monkey until the rest of the tournament. It's just way too strong. And we can see this bottom lane, Ame. CS nicely, sitting at seven and one, but uh, yep, a lot of a uh, kill threat as well, especially when Tiny gets to his level two, level three. Also, you want to leave some of that XP. He's trying to stack, but Crit will body block the pool <laughs> and the stack. I mean, he's going to lose that Courier. Kind of going into an odd position. Like, the Courier comes through that little pathway above the camp. So like, Couriers why? are not the smartest thing. No, Couriers they really are actually are. heralds. Like, in... Oh, Crit dropping very low, but does have healing cell. It's so bothersome. I feel like my courier walks towards the other team and I feel the courier is still bugged. There's there's a lot of the times where my courier just stops for no reason and it's it's happening to other people. It's not just me. Yeah. It, it validates me that my courier you know, I'm not the only one yelling at it. Yeah, I didn't even click on that side of the map. Why why did he stop? <laughs> Zeus, we can see the power of this hero in the mid lane against the melee hero. Eighteen uh, and three already. That's gonna be twenty. Oh, oh never mind, jinxed him. Yeah, you jinxed it. Now he's at nineteen. Little caster's curse there from you. 
That happens from time to time, though. Miss the big one, the golden creep. Ooh. Oh. The Q might die here for first blood. He's trying to pick up that pedal and won't even get that. Thought Snake King might want to play a little bit more aggressive with this Naga Why Siren, does, but instead like, wait a they'll second. fight each other. I don't know. This because I thought I was hallucinating. This Crystal Maiden said that that's definitely a new one. Yeah, that's it, brand new. It looks like Naga Siren. I mean, yeah, kind of, a little. That Blood Grenade, uh-oh, trying to get into the trees. Nightmare. Pulled off, and here comes oh XXS to turn this. Maybe get first blood himself. Trample on top of the Crystal Maiden, now slowed up. He's tanky enough where he really shouldn't be in much trouble from the Naga Siren. Maybe if that was level 2 Trample, but uh, right now, very limited in yeah, terms of damage one. department. This is going to be very cool. Like, this is paid to win if you're playing these two sets together. You really think it looks that much like Naga Siren? Yeah. Do you not know what dogs look like? <laughs> it's a wolf. That is a dog. Is it? Wolves are dogs. Well, yeah. But, you know, evolved dogs. <laughs> or evolved wolves. But they, yeah. they look kind of similar. So Snaking could sneak in. Sneaking. He could be in the middle of a fight, dropping the ulti. And you're like, yeah, it's a Naga Siren Illusions. Trample One of again. those. Just getting netted. Stops the trample. All of that damage getting nullified in doing so. Yeah, we've seen different approaches. I think Crystal Maiden's definitely the one. We've seen Dragon Knights in the safe lane against Primal Beast, where he gets stunned, doesn't deal damage, long duration stun. Same goes for the root mechanic from Crystal Maiden. All around. Whew. Playing Come back aggressive. For two seconds. And now he's on top of CS, 30 CS at the moment. XM comes back, and all of a sudden he's half health again. Obviously, he's got that refilled bottle, but that doesn't even feel that great, truthfully. Top of the net worth is the Pangolier, despite the fact that there were a few more denies on that Zeus, but net worths are pretty much even towards the top. Top four heroes are a creep off of each other. Nothing too crazy. Boots coming out for XXS. It's always fun to highlight the fact that XXS played for DK, and he's only 24. Yeah, DK, one of these like uh, legendary Dota 2 teams. Yeah. And it feels like it was so long ago. It was so long ago. Yeah. He's 24. Like, that was eight years ago that he was playing. Like, it just, it, he's been such a staple in the Chinese scene. But everybody thinks of, like, Ame and Monet and Ori and Paparazzi, all those guys, you know? And XXS, I almost want to say, is kind of quietly here being one of the most tenured Chinese players. Yeah, he's very experienced. And, uh, like, during his time in Aster, pretty much he was always delivering. Like, oh, yeah. he, he was so stable. That lane with Bobica was so good. No first blood yet. Almost six Ooh, minutes. Ah, there it is. There it is. All right. Nice little kill steal there from the Zeus. Thunder God's Wrath. Get that first blood. Snake King goes down. You called it. You were right on that. Zeus hits level six. You want to start playing aggressive in the side lanes. Good goal. For Look for an blood. opportunity. Yeah, big... Big gold if true. has mana boots, and he is going for enemy bounty rune to refill his bottle. So we'll be back. Oh there. hell yeah, two oh, of them! Oh my god, this is big. what? What? I guess he was afraid. Maybe he. What? Uh, very nice of him leaving yeah, one leave of the those. bounty rune. Okay, sure. I mean, pretty generous, truthfully. Going for the roll. Right up there, and XXS is going to get hit towards the end of the duration. Uproar, but he's dead. Skitter's going to get the kill on XXS, so they finally get one back on the board. And Crystal Maiden going to ping that bounty rune that is still sitting there. Uh-oh. No. This is fine. Okay, all good. All good. <laughs> Scan just in case. Crit will pick one up, and Jin-Q will pick the other one. He's also going Arcane Boots. I'd love to see what this Bane build is going to be. A lot of the times you try to farm something with this hero. If you're not fighting early on, you're not getting the trades, you can't really farm unless you pick up the shard or if the shard is given to you. Mm -hmm. Most likely going to be, you know, some Aether Lens, a Glimmer Cape, but also knowing it's a Zin Cube, it could be, you know, something different. He finds Philosopher's Stone, go f goes for the Agatim Scepter, because in terms of them stunning Bane, they don't have many abilities to actually stop him from channeling his ulti. And if he gets that Agatim Scepter somehow... Oh, D.Y. Yeah, he's getting focused here with Snake King. D.Y. Down in the bottom lane. Crit, tossing him up. 
Still not dead, but Chakram whirling death. Amar, he's got that kill. He's playing behind the tier one tower. Now we know what DY stands for. Decrypify yourself. Doesn't save him. He's still gonna die, but uh, they might get something here. It's a uh, Malrone, so he's tanky. Pretty standard stuff coming out from Zeus. This is the big one. If he can Whoa. pick it up. I mean, jump. Now he's actually in a, a good amount Want of trouble. Play from crit. Oh, Thunder, and all of a sudden XM. Needs to be careful. Snake King's here. Maybe he can get a kill before he dies, but no, XM falls to Snake King. He dies afterwards to DY. That is just Zeus wasn't allowed to move. Perfect timing coming out from crit. He was there, uses the avalanche, gets the toss and uh, picks it up, which does secure the kill. So two kills for extreme gaming, three kills so far for Falcon. Game a bit on the slower side. Right. There's two different builds you can go on Slark. The one is to pick up the Fusal Blade immediately. The other one is just get that Mage Slayer instead. Getting some decent stacks, but taking some... It's just uh, like whether you want to go for the Diffusal first or yeah. Mage Slayer first, but the two items are still going to be the same. Right. There was a lot more variety a few patches ago, but this feels like the best one so far. Not too many stacks going on. Only four, I believe, on both sides. Yeah, there was two made by the Zeus. Nightmare, but this is looking like Zinku's gonna be dead again. He's trying to get himself that OMS, but it gets denied, and they're gonna get this kill onto the bait. So this feels pretty good for Falcon, stopping that. Whew. This Pango is having a blast of a game. Yeah. Malrone has bubble, so that's an extra shield of his own, and also having max shield, so. Good luck killing him. He's he's gonna be able to tank he's up so up. much damage. Zone. And this is also on top of the mana boots, Blightstone, and going into the Fusal Blade, 500 gold away from it. Get ourselves a quick little pause. Uh, you know, it was Zeus who had a, a good amount of a net worth lead, and now he's really falling apart. Really, the cores overall are falling behind. XXS, we were talking about how stable he is, and he's pretty far behind. Not the easy lane for him. You're playing into two roots, so and an extra slow. You're not going to be able to like get much done. You've also been paired up with Bane, not your traditional pairing. A lot of the times you'll see, you know, these stronger position fours like Lion, who can set things up for a primal beast, stop right. them from using abilities. One thing that Extreme don't have is like this instant stun. They have uh, from position five. There's not much happening. Zeus also needs another hero that goes in. So if X success is not having a good time, it will need to be Ami, who's gonna pick up his Diffusal Blade and start to play aggressive. Crit oh, again, again. yes, yeah, nice Avatos. They just not sure they can get this Bane out, but that being said, Thunder God's wrapped to get the kill on a Snake King, and Zinku's able to walk away. They've also got XXS coming in with an onslaught, but they're already behind the anything. tower, so he stops it. He doesn't even want to go. Makes sense there. And the question to me is, is Ame going to get involved the second he gets this defusal? Because there are, there was times back in the day when Ame was playing, say, Spectres, uh, he would haunt and get in the second he had that first item. He wasn't afraid to go. Not to eat, like, a lot of the times you will see Slark going through the gates and try to gank the enemy off uh, safe laner. But this is Naga Siren. I don't know if he doesn't have a point in song or if he's saving a point. And we can see crit stacking. Yeah, no song yet. He doesn't have the uh, Yeah, the but diamond. he might have a point. Oh, he might be holding the point. Yeah, you're right. You have a point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the question is, does he have a point? <laughs> oh, oh, my bad. So, Phylactery's being built here for the Zeus. Um, I like it. I'm always a fan of Phylactery. I'm it's a lot of, a, of damage. It's a must-have item on Zeus nowadays. Yeah, I'm, I'm more of a bounty hunter Phylactery guy. Honda, he yelled at, but, you know. We win, anyway. But you're starting to see like a little bit of a shift here. Net worth-wise, Zeus isn't too far behind. He's able to farm up pretty well. And just there's fun. just like this chunk of Radiant Heroes together. The supports are getting a decent amount of farm. They are, but there's a... Like, Pagana can scale. I'm, I'm really impressed that Jinkyu has the most farm out of all, all supports. supports. There's that defusal. So let's see, if, let's see if Ame's activated at this point or if he wants to sit back. Because it could be a little bit tough, like you said. You know, if you don't have Depth Shroud, that extra protection, maybe there's just the song used, which is now available on the Naga Siren. Did put that point in. And uh, you could find yourself 
locked up. Rolling Thunder comes over. You're bouncing in the air. Avalanche toss. Like, there's that continued control that could make this very dangerous. That being said, if there's the continued control on the Slark, maybe you're just life draining and keeping him alive if you're the Pug. Yeah, they do have some saves, the Nightmare save as well, but also the burst damage from Falcons is definitely there. You have Timbersaw, you have Tiny, who's going for a slightly different build, maxing out the toss. I was thinking if that's viable. I, I love playing Tiny, so I tried it. Sometimes it, it feels really good because the extra range if you're tossing people back, but... Uh, Let's see if they're gonna be able to get, and of, of course, uh, you know, the lower cooldown, but uh, so does Avalanche scale with the levels that you get, less cooldown. They have you. a ward here. Look at this, it's just about to run out, so giving away the fact that they might have He's vision here. No mana. But Ame's going in. There's four heroes here for the side of Falcons. Thunder God's Wrath go into the Fiend's Grip. They get the kill of the Snake King. Ulti used by Ame, gonna leave Zin Q to die. But is he gonna die? Yeah, that'll be a swashbuckle that gets the kill. But now can they turn this around? Toss up on the XXS. Right clicks coming in into crit. They pounce. They leech. They've got the lockdown onto the Tiny. That's the second one dead to the side of Falcon. Oh, look at this magic now damage Amar on Amar. Now trying to run, but there's a Zeus right behind him. Timber chain over the cliff, still trying to get away. If Philactor is up, he XM might die have here. It? Oh, just staying alive, but XXS one more is zap. chasing. They want that lightning bolt. Just arc lightning. Anything that's going to be enough, but he skirts away just barely. Yeah, you can see the power of this. The Fusal Blade on Slark. Snaking shows in a fight, doesn't have too much mana to work with, gets tossed onto the Naga Siren, I believe, but uh, Xinqiu immediately grips him. He's like, okay, has the vision from Zeus ulti, gets the kill. Rolling Thunder, forcing Ame to use the ulti, and Xinqiu buying a little bit more time. XX says that came immediately for a help, and then rest of the team showing up. You can see Amar, he's full HP, and then two, three spells, bam, down to 30%. Amar lucky to get away from this one. His timber chain is where I think he really solidified the getaway, right? Pretty much. Also, he's going for Kaya as his first item, so wants to have explosive damage. Eternal Shroud feels really good to have in this one. Yeah, for sure. Against Primal Beast, against Pugna, against Zeus. It's a must-have. And uh, yeah, this has been pretty standard build on Zeus nowadays. Going for Shard after finishing Phylactery and then going into Manta style, so you start pushing the waves. You do have the spell mechanic, because Naga Siren will be going into... Orchid and also like against Crystal Maiden and feel it really nice. Maybe a bit, a bit of a bait mechanic if they want to fall for it. But right. uh, yeah, feels really nice. And Zeus did manage to recover. Still, Skeeter is on top of the net worth because uh, he's been untouched. He did show up in the previous fight. Not by too much though. Especially with Ami getting away with that, not dying on that gank. He's closed the gap pretty well. Yeah, and you can see Amar immediately switching because he was thinking about you know getting some pkb but immediately switches to eternal shroud feels like yeah, yeah. damage coming out from pagana zeus the cryptify into bold phylactery damage <laughs> takes him down to 50 percent hp also we haven't seen too much of bkb purchases on primal beast on the offlane but in this game i feel like it's a must-have they have so many stuns like one avalanche stops you from going in one net crystal maiden spell so it's kind of a must-have he did buy a smaller item veil of discord just to have some extra damage and extra stats that feels nice yeah it should feel pretty nice bkb used to be the standard first item for primal beast yes. whether he was mid or offlane you had to get it first but if you're picking the hero early in the draft, you probably also need to pick up an earlier BKB, considering right. that it's going to get countered. They go for Ame. They're thinking Avalanche. about it. Bubble. They've got this they have chain. Enough. They have the damage. That was perfectly some executed. Weak damage, too. Kaya Timber with uh, the neutral item. Oof. 816 damage. <laughs> Real fast. You don't normally see a hero get obliterated this early too quick, but. Now they smoke up. They're going to try and go towards bot. They've got three heroes here. They do have Fiend's Grip available. Maybe they can catch Amar on this one. Looks like potentially Thunder God's Wrath for some extra vision. Fiend's Grip's not going to be on the Tiny. Probably not who they wanted, but they must go for Tiny. If they go for Timber, you know, the Fiend's Grip's tiny not getting off. They don't, have, yeah, they don't have enough stuns, so they'll pick up whatever they can at the moment. Skeeter, you can see the difference. Three, all three cores from Falcons on top of net worth at the moment going into Orchid. Pretty standard stuff the from Naga Siren. XXS and Amar, just about 3,000. So XXS trying to stabilize, trying to use the trample. Now that he's not going to be netted every time he tramples, have the ability to 
clear up as much as he can. Yeah, you say now, but still needs a recipe, but I don't know if he wants to join a fight. Like, this is the time where, as a Slark, you would probably want to take these fights, so you want to farm your Mage Slayer and also use your Night Vision to get into fights. Mage Slayer right. is online, going into Aghanim Scepter, Shard probably as the next item. Needs to be slightly more tanky so that he doesn't get bursted by this tiny plus timber so combo. Amplify damage. Ooh, some right clicks coming in. Like eight stacks on that essence shift, but only level one of the essence shift, so that'll be gone pretty quickly. Going into the Ags next, looking for the double pounce. You've got the Pango. Everybody has a bubble in this game. It's just too good of an item. Like there was Might a, need to be changed. Yeah, most definitely. People and it are can't also be asking, like, why does it work on illusions? I mean, what? That's so stupid. I mean, you would know which one is real if it didn't. But, yeah, of uh, course. But. but it is slightly OP. Jin Q. Uh, he in. might get blown up down. immediately. Yeah, they've got the silence as well as the nets. They'll go to the avalanche as well as the toss, the freezing field. They get the kill to XF. Think who's in trouble. He's probably dead on his screen already. Two heroes dead is Falcons. They will take a fight, take out XM, slow down his farm, and these cores are starting to pull away. It's a 3,000 net worth lead, but it feels like a lot more. It feels like every fight is dictated by what Falcons want to do. I mean, we did say that Extreme don't have ways of starting a fight. Like, you need to find people, try to reset multiple times with Slark, Ulti, Primal Beast, multiple spells, some decryptify, some saves coming out from Pagana. But Falcons, they will commit. Like, they do have this explosive damage. Crit did pick up the Blink Dagger a few minutes ago. And also Malrone building into Aghanim Scepter. And you see that this Skeeter, he is also ready to fight with the new, newly purchased Silence. So having that Orchid, Going into Eternal Shroud. Use it on the Bane in the previous fight, so that was the debut of that. BKB is going to come through for XXS, but Ags for the Pango in just a moment. I believe Eternal Shroud, there was a patch, and it doesn't work on Illusions anymore. So I've seen people still buy it, didn't get the chance to test it, but uh, from what I've read, it doesn't work on Illusions anymore. But it still maybe feels strong on the hero. So maybe that's why why they're buying it. I mean, there's a ton of magic damage coming out from Zeus Primal Beast Pagna. They've got themselves Bane. Another dead extreme gaming hero here. Onslaught on the high ground. This is a risky maneuver, but they go for the Thunder God's Wrath with the BKB. That's not going to matter. The song coming out, but eventually that's going to run back through, from and that's going to stop him. Oh, he goes to the Pulverize, goes into the Crystal Maiden. They've got two kills. XXS is on a double kill, but now he's on the run. Rolling Thunder, Timber Saw right on top of him with the Chakram. The Life Drain's not going to be enough. They get the kill to XXS. They'll take out one. This time, they're going to look for more. They find XM by himself. They take out DY. They are taking heroes out left and right. And Falcons, despite the fact that they started on the back foot after the re-engage from Extreme Gaming, they come out ahead. Yeah, Slark, uh, I mean, did not want to commit to that fight. Like, you can see his damage, 500, and also didn't pop his ulti. He still doesn't feel too comfortable just jumping in, because you can see the most damage in the previous fight was dealt by Amar. He's still a beast with this Kaya, super tanky now with the Eternal Shroud. And we're going to see it one more time, even though Crit did commit with the buyback. Extreme BKB. Gaming, they managed to get two kills on supports with the usage of Primal Beast BKB. But then after, you see Ame, he's getting controlled by this Pango. He doesn't feel too comfortable getting close, and the Mar, I mean, you're playing into heroes that don't have any ways of pretty much stunning you, so you can easily go ham, dive underneath the tier two tower. So all of a sudden, it's an 8,000 net worth lead. It feels really rough for extreme gaming. Like, they don't have a way to start a fight unless Primal Beast charges in. Your position four, in terms of items, this is one of the most difficult heroes to scale with in the game. Zeus didn't exactly burst off the scene when he looked like he had done a good job over mid, but when he had died, he died twice in a row. It was that death in the river and then the death afterwards that really shut down his game from exploding open. And it's actually the Pangolier who's well ahead of him. Primal Beast going into the Shivas, or at least hoping to. There's the Orchid. Onslaught charged up, going in, committing to this one. There are so many heroes here. Falcons, they're ready. So you gotta be careful. Uh, Extreme, they're kind of hanging by a thread on that at this point. This game can get the doors blown off them. It could. Real quick. Pango dishes at some serious amount of damage with the Aghanim Scepter, has Shard of his own. So not he can really 
feeling the presence of Ame in this one at all. Yeah. I guess he wants his Aghanim Scepter. There's also Amplified Damage, also known as Double Damage. We're going to call it AD from now on. XM not doing too much at the moment, uh, faking his ulti to see, you know, maybe he needs to scout things out or just loves the sound. He could be jumped here if Crit wants to commit. And we'll see, because Skitter, he's searching for anyone. They want to push out bottom. Might know that Ame's in the vicinity. He's 50 gold away from having that Ags. And he'll TP towards top, be closer to the base, look to defend if, in fact, Falcons do push, as you can feel them putting the pressure on. So they go for the Tormentor, who's going to be the fortunate Give one Give it to the EY. I think that's the big one. You if, want that split. If you want to get rid of Naga Siren Illusions, that's going to be a big one. And DY gets it. Yeah, that's right. pretty hype. And that works. So now you've got the upgrade to the Nether Ward, the Life Drain. Ags is flying out for Ame. Is this enough? Down 6,000 in the position they're in. Oh, these are two really big items. Problem is, they, they can easily burst them. you. I don't think DY can protect himself in the back lines. You, you Timber, it will jump you. You have Tiny as well. Orchid from Naga Siren. So you're going to be the target. Like, you might need to be. Ready to buy back Roche. in a fight like this. And speaking of buybacks, he does have one available. In terms of Roche damage, they have more than enough. Like Roshan already down to one fourth of the, at least lost one fourth of HP. With the Orchid, it's gonna go, go down so quickly. Doesn't seem like Extreme will contest it. They're still playing the top part of the map. Could go through the twin gates, but it's a bit it's too, too late. late. So that's Aegis and an Activation on the Amplified Damage. So, we'll see how that goes as... Uh, you got a second life here now on the Pango. Wondering where the comeback potential is here for Extreme. I, I, you know, it obviously, I, I think, comes from a high ground defense, but it has to get to that point. At the beginning of the game, this was 53%, I believe, for Extreme Gaming on the Dota plus probability, now it's 79%. I mean, they're giving a lot of, that, that win probability, Felix, it's giving a lot of respect to the potential of Slark. Yeah, so we haven't seen too much from Ame. Like they, like the whole team hasn't been fighting much. Slark as a hero, like you want to be active, you want to be getting those early stacks, but uh, now there's another problem. Shiva's guard, Amar doesn't die. Like it's almost impossible to burst him. You need to bring him down with, like Zeus, Slark on top of him, Primal Beast with the BKB. And there's gonna be a song to try to buy a little bit more time. Double Shivas now. XX has did get one, and we already mentioned Timbers. So he's still getting some farm. It's just that, uh, you know, things are gonna get more difficult for them. Right now, Naga Siren controlling two exits, so immediately killing the creep waves. And seems like they wanna poke. In terms of defending the high ground, Extreme Gaming, they don't have the best heroes. There are no abilities that can displace you. There's no Mars, there's Tinies on the other side, no Skewer or anything. They do have good burst damage. They can kill the Creep Waves easily, but I also want to see if Falcons will commit to the high ground push. There's the gem now bought by Crystal Maiden. You've got XXS. He's got the Shivas. He's looking for an Ags as well. They see him, and they're going to chase him. Potentially up out of the high ground. This is a bit of a bait if they go in, and I think Falcons are kind of aware of this. They don't want to chase in too far. Looking for their opportunity to maybe catch somebody out, and they go up and potentially around on this now. Ooh, now full Bloodthorn on Skeeter. That's the damage. This is something that Slark is afraid of. If he doesn't get his Q off, any of the heroes with Naga Siren, they die. Like, it's just way too much damage. The good thing is we still haven't seen Life Drain onto Netherward. Not the easiest thing to execute, because it needs to be, like, close, relatively close to a fight. Smoke would have potentially connected with the Mar, but that's not who you want. Uh oh, DY. Hobbs up on the high ground. Now they're going. They've got the pounce as well as the Leash. is turning. Forced to jump away, and they're going after DY. They're going to get this kill eventually onto this Pugna. And these heroes on the side of Extreme Gaming turn around. They need to get out. He walked into enemy territory right in front of them. Yeah. Unluck. What you can... What can you do? And it uh, seems like they want to still use this Aegis that they have for two minutes. A lot of time. Trying to kill off the last tier two tower. Ooh, Skitter just coming forward. They might find them. Zinq gets body blocked by Ame, and that leaves him behind. He's dead. 
that split second was enough for them to catch up. They get another support kill. This is just all Falcons. I haven't seen too much from Ame, like throughout the whole game. I guess it's the, the heroes that they have, because Bane, Pagna, these heroes, you want to be in charge of the game, where you are controlling the tempo. And also Primal Beast, he got shut down until he got his BKB. And now Ame comes in. There's a four staff back from Crit onto the Naga Siren. So, still just kind of being able to back off with no real threat coming in from Extreme. XXS wants that XP rune, but the rest of the Falcons, they are here. Risky, risky, risky. And that's gonna be a toss up into the air. The Chakram, he goes to the uproar. Now, Flactory slows up Amar. There's that lightning bolt used to start. These illusions just trying to push out the creep wave with that lightning hands. Still nothing doing though. <laughs> when was <laughs> the last time Extreme got a kill? It's been a while, and look what Amar has in his quick buy. He has Hurricane Pike. This guy, <laughs> this guy is just freaking wild. I mean, it's a good one. If uh, I BKB. Mean, if, I don't know if you need a full pike, but you need something against Slark. BKB is going to be down for a bit. Trying to build a BKB here on Ame, but it's so far away. 15 seconds off to the Aegis. Maybe we see Falcons get a little bit safer in terms of their positioning afterwards. Multiple BKBs being built on Extreme. One on Ame, one on XM. They want to be able to fight. They want to commit. Because if you see one hero dying, you can easily pop the song. There are no BKBs except for the Primal Beast. The guy might still live. So I like these BKB choices. It's not going to be like the most damage scan. Did connect and did cut off some of the illusions from Skeeter. So they might think someone is there. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Skitter. Just kind of looting. Shifts in the night there. Of those heroes. They do find themselves Ame. Timber Chain doesn't connect. That's one pounce into this little pool here by this bridge. He's staying nearby, He's but he doesn't have pounce for three seconds. He's got to try and survive. His ult's already off cooldown, or on cooldown. So he pounces up to the high ground again. He's on the run. Zinku's here to probably sacrifice his own life to get the Sark away. Shiva's hits, the chase is on. High five is looking to be clapped with, and instead they get the kill on the bane. Try to buy a little bit more time. It's all about, you know, delaying the game. They need to get, like, next set of items. XXS going for that Aghanim Scepter, so they will have extra damage, break mechanic against Pango, against Timbersaw feels really good. Just trying to get that Ags. Right now, just the Ogre Axe. Farm for Skitter has just been pushed further and further ahead. They have had control of a majority of the map here for so long. Yeah, that gem pickup from Snaking. Getting rid of enemy observer wards, getting rid of sentries. In terms of the heroes that they have, you would assume that Extreme Gaming would be controlling it. With Zeus, with Both Slark. Words everywhere for the side of the dire. Falcons have so much vision advantage right now. BKB is going to be picked up for Skitter, so he is going to be even harder to kill. And they want to go for Ame. That's the avalanche. Chakram down. Ame forced immediately into that ult. They roll up on top of him. They get the kill to Ame, and he has still just been a non-factor in this game. And he might end up being a complete non-factor as th this might be the final fights that we're seeing. They take another one out in Zinku. They go up onto the high ground with the illusions, and Falcons looking to finish this. I don't know if you want to commit with the buyback here. Their tower damage comes from pretty much Naga Siren, which is okay, but Timber doesn't deal. He doesn't have a sh shard, I believe. Tiny's not hitting. He's looking for an opportunity to jump in. Maybe, jump. maybe Ame is going to buy back if they find something. Song. Oh, Song to leave, and they are out. He's also got that shard, too, so. Yeah, it's uh, it's really good. Everybody f back to full HP, pretty much. They're going to reset one more time. You can see that when they're close, if yeah, you're getting struck by Primal Beast abilities, this Shiva's Guard lowering their magic resistance, and then Zeus pops the ulti, a couple of spells while they're full HP. Pagna with the Nether Ward. They don't have damage problems. Drain or life drain from DY. Roche is 
back up with his banner. He stakes his claim. He wants to stay in his own pit. So, Ame being outfarmed by Skitter by about 10,000 gold. Very difficult. Like, you can't keep up if you're not being the guy who is controlling the game. Let's see who's going to get it. Snaking. So, Crystal Clone available now. Very good ability. Off dodging some of the spells, getting out of trouble, and of course, dropping Frostbite onto everyone, because now it does work on your own spells, like you can destroy it. Oh. Roshan. Falcons will definitely try to go there. XM has another ulti available in 40 seconds. Going for that right-click build. More Zeus. Change, chain, chain. Yolner. Very lore-friendly. Yeah. They back away from the pit. They're going to allow Falcons to kind of take priority position here on this second Roche. 21,000 net worth uh, or damage, hero damage being done here for Zeus. That's the word I was looking for. Hero damage. And this is an even quicker Roche than the last one. With the Bloodthorn and all the illusions, five heroes, Roshan dies in a matter of seconds. So five minutes there, he just picked up for Amar. So there's a lot of discussion around this Roshan banner until one of the smartest guys in Dota that we have, SVG, heard him talking about this being used as vision. Like you drop it down in the middle of the fight on a high ground to provide vision, and that's it. He says it's the best one. And then I ask myself, is it really? Could be. If you don't have an Observer Ward, are you wasting it? Because it does feel slightly lackluster. The problem with it is like you don't see the impact of it. It's in the base most of the time. You're like, okay, there's a fight going on. The creeps are pushing in. Pretty similar to, I would say, Lycan or when you have like the old aura from the Drow Ranger. Or creeps got, got it. So you're like losing a fight, popping that ability and still taking enemy tower is in not the easiest toss a lot of creeps around him maybe even thought he was I, I, probably hoping he was gonna get that bkb usage out of next success just through tiny he does have rock throw could you imagine <laughs> he could pick up only tiny and throw him tiny goes for the toss he tosses him into the fountain oh, you're BKB. a bkb Whoa. testing it out it does work yeah that's an early bkb now so we'll see if they're willing to play aggressive with the BKB on cooldown now, because he's not the one who has the Aegis, but he does have a lot of other items that are going to feel pretty strong in this uh, this game, this fight. Skeeter was checking if he can throw away warranty paper. Yeah. It's he like can. ripping it, the, you ever rip the tag off a mattress? It's like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, although that's apparently super illegal. Illegal? It says, do not tamper with this tag. Punishment. Wow, you're a real criminal, B-Cop. Uh, Somebody uh, called uh, the cops uh, on this guy. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do it. <laughs> BKB, TP out from Ame. BKB, TP out from Zinku. Just TP. These are nine second BKBs. One misclick from Skeeter, and also one on Ame, one on Zin Q. Crazy that Zin Q's gone. That's his only item. Is it? I mean, he's not farming. He's not getting out of the base. Full disperser on Skeeter, so. Yeah. That plus swashbuckles, Aghanim Scepter with the shield crashes, random swashbuckles. It's going to be a lot of mana burn onto these heroes. Amplified damage denied by DY. As he TPs away. But Ame's in the top lane and they might be eyeing him. He's got to head out of there. Looking for that level 20. He's just a fourth of a level away from it. As this tier three. That is not a Roche's banner. That is a guild banner on the high ground. Trying to troll. See if enemies are going to go for it. Try to kill it. Now Ame pushing a different part of the map. Trying to creep skip. Gosh, buy yeah. a little bit more time. So far, they've been doing a good job. Even though, like, net worth, they, they, like, you can have maybe one, two heroes out 
side of the base, trying to get some farm. Oh, stack cool. Action. Stack, not bad. I believe Primal Beast is getting that booster, and that is his axe finished. Yeah. So he'll have that. He's going for the blink next. Does Ame even see that wisdom rune? No, he doesn't. He leaves it. Unfortunate not to check. Granted, I mean, Are you it would have been two minutes ago that it would have <laughs> popped up. Don't, why? Why? Do you, you have to out me like that. No, I saw uh, you doing it with the fingers. With the f <laughs> 7, 14, 21, you slow 28, down. 35. I was doing the math in my head, but you don't have to out me to, like, all of chat. Amar will pick it up. That uh, feels bad for Samar. 35 minute rune. Oh, what was it? 714. <laughs> Just like, I know I'm off camera. I'm allowed to count idiotically. Apparently not. Get out your phone. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah, for seven times five. Which is clearly. <laughs> I don't know why I took Why are we still talking about this? <laughs> So yeah, 35, and the next one is go fast. All right, here we go. 42. There we go. I the thought you were gonna start. I thought you were casting gonna start the casting the game. <laughs> I thought about it. <laughs> then I realized what you said. So pipe now available. It's the classic. Deck. They have Tundra members. You know that this game's gonna last for a really long time. They know how to choke you out of the map. Network keeps increasing. There was one game so far in this tournament against the Virtus Pro when they. It looked with the Alchemist when it looked like they were dominating, they were ahead throughout the whole game, 15, 20,000. Then it took them another half an hour to finish off the game. I'm trying to think of the item that they used during that TI. It's the one that doesn't exist anymore. I just can never remember its name. It's out of the oh, game. Oh, Wraith Pack. Too. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say. I was just... thinking about cosmetic. When he you first said it, I'm like, is it Bleak Hallucination? No, <laughs> it's not. FY's not even in this game. Is he the only one that has that item? No, there are a couple others that have Bleak Hallucination throughout the Chinese scene. It's just they have it on different heroes. I think somebody has it on Abaddon, if I'm not. You need to make the list. I should. Yeah, that'd be good content. Glitched items. I'll, maybe I'll ask Fly tomorrow on his birthday. Big items. I love the build on XM. So Mjolnir, more chain, lightning hands, Grobo, and also going into Parasma next. So lowering their... Radiant Magic resistance, pushing out the waves quickly, prepping like he wants to be able to scale. I, I don't remember last time Extreme Gaming had a kill. I think they had eight kills They've for the last eight 20 for minutes. A while. This is, I mean, hmm. Let me think. Brain power activating. So I think about when the last kill they got was. It was the fight mid. The last kill they got, he bought back, it was crit on the tiny. It was that mid-fight where it looked like the two supports was going to be beneficial for Extreme, and they lost that fight. Well, really impressed, if that's correct. I think it is. Considering the, it uh, took you a good, like, 30 to 45 seconds to, to figure out the rune. 25 no, minutes ago. No, no, no. <laughs> for the no, rune? No, no, no. This I, is really good. It didn't take me 25 <laughs> seconds to think of the rune. I was just counting slow because... I, I don't want to use brown, my brain power on counting 7, 14, 21, 20. I have to pay attention to the game. So Yeah, it, that yeah game has been pretty hype. Last 15 <laughs> minutes, so much action. <laughs> Better, don't blink. No, you're going to miss it. I, I know, but I have to, you know, you're, you're partitioning brain power away for just counting multiplication tables. Yeah, your cranium is getting bigger as you speak. I'm having a brain blast over here. <laughs> Jimmy Neutron style. Another smoke. Let's see if they can find something. Nami has been doing a pretty good job getting outside of the base, getting the farm, cutting some creep waves. Yeah, 21,000 net worth lead here for Falcons, though. At what point is Ame going to feel like he... Uh-oh. Uh Amar? All right. That's not going to be too bad. Oh, Fiend Scrape coming through on the Naga Siren. They got the kill next end, though. He's dead immediately. BKB Popeye Skitter. They get the kill there on the DY. That's two years dead at the side of Extreme already. Use that ult on Ame as well as the BKB. Trying to run away from that Song. They're not going to catch up to him. The blink forward, Swashbuckle not connecting. Song still going, but eventually Ame gets away. XM can die first. Like, he is their damage pretty much. Uh, he's the one that deals with those illusions. So is DY. We still haven't seen that suck being used on Netherward. 
So we're up onto the high ground. Back door protection will be gone. Mid lane, they I mean, do have they some have back, but here in this lane as well, so we'll pop the glyph. Another mirror Still image. Still not Roche's man. They didn't use it yet? I don't know if they've used it or not, but that is a guild banner. Okay. Still. Just making sure. That is a uh, creep wave. Is the guild. Guild ETF squad. They're going in. They're looking. I Big like success. that. They're buffing the creep wave with it. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. All right. Yeah, they're all in here. Ami's gonna try and get a couple of kills, but up into the air is this tiny. Ami's uh -oh. low on health. They go to the Thunder God's Wrath. They've got themselves the life drain. That's gonna save Ami with the BKB running out on XXS. Rolling Thunder there from the Pangolier. Going behind. He's out of mana completely. Into the throne area, but not getting anybody. They look over at ZQ. He's gonna pop the BKB. They've got the life drain again. Keeping this Bane alive. You the bottom see. center axe will still stand. XXS damage. onslaughting. They're wanting to reset into the fight. Can they catch up? The rock throw, a little bit short of snaking, but the chase is still on. Skitter with the illusions. They've looked at Amar. They've got Ame at full health once more, but maybe Falcons are the ones who can get back into the fight. They've got Song available, and the BKBs are down on the side of Extreme Gaming, so it makes it very tough for the side of Extreme to have a perfect fight going into this one. Pipe, Eternal Shroud, they're just way too tanky. They, By the way, X, I'm looking for Divine. I, I'm fine with that. Like, we've seen some really clutch Divine purchases when it really mattered. It was the game. They're in! Whoa! Ami, God! He's just dead? Immediately dead! Life Drain on the Nether War, but it's not going to really do much for them. DY is going to decrepify themselves. They got some damage on Amar, but the song is there to reset it all. They're going to heal. They've got the shard onto the Naga Siren. So look at all these heroes at full health for the side of Falcons. This looks like the final fight. They get the kill on Zinku as well as DY. This is XM with the BKB right clicking away. They've got the Pulverize out of Skinner, but it's looking like it might be enough damage to finally get the kill on the Naga Siren. He's going down. He's dead. They bought back on the Crystal Maiden. They've got the Rolling Thunder. That's going to put XM up in the air with that axe. He's shield crashing, doing some bad damage with the Swash Ruckle. They take out XM. Triple kill here for Amar. Pounce leashing. That lands on a Kreel Life Drain coming out from DY. Rolling Thunder still going for a second longer. Nightmare's going to be reflected with the Lotus Orb. Snake King's here. They've got the Nether Blast and the Life Drain coming up from DY. Mage Slayer holding them back a little bit. Uh -oh, with the BKB. Ame's in Turning trouble. Around. Ame's going to be back into this one with his, the Fiend's Grip. Ottawa Amar with the damage coming in. The Life Drain's not going to be enough to save Ame. He doesn't have buyback. He's there for 108 seconds. Uh, Amar's going to go in for the rest. DY is dead. Triple kill again. Everybody gone on the side of Extreme. Falcons come out way ahead with Almanaga Siren. So many buybacks. This is triple buyback from Extreme Gaming. A little surprised that there was no buyback coming up from Skeeter to try to close out the game. He still does have it, but, you know, it's 20 seconds. Uh, Roshan is also available. It's going to be on the dire side. In terms of tower damage, they don't have that much, but without any heroes being alive, they are going to take it. So one set of barracks at least. Skitter's coming back in the next 10 seconds. No tier 2 towers available. You can see that like uh, Slark struggles connecting onto a target because everybody has some kind of a survivability item, and he bought bots, bots too, on Skitter. He wants to close it out. Bottom center axe, mid center axe, those are all gonna go. A lot of time without Ame. Let's see if they go for Megas. They definitely have time. Why not secure Megas, it? and oh, it's gonna be like Megas plus 30 seconds left for Ame to respawn, which is not enough. They might still have one more fight potentially. Oh, XM in his own base. Finally, it's Mega Creeps. He's still looking for the Divine, but he's only got 1500 gold. They start to attack these tier fours. And that's going to be one gone. Still 25 without Ame. 41,000. Throne's going to be exposed. Do they stay? They don't have Aegis to work with, but with that throne exposed, I mean, they've <laughs> achieved everything that they wanted. Yeah, Snaking even took his level 20 talent, extra attack speed to try to close it out, get some extra damage. But Extreme Gaming will get one more fight, potentially. The question is, how are they going to... Deal with the Megas and fight, because when those long, drawn-out fights, like the last one over bottom happen, that's when Mega Creeps take your base. Yeah, it's Falcons, Roshan is up, it's third Rosh, so you will have Banner with the Mega Creeps. Go and take it. A couple of Lotuses as well will be picked up. Six in total. The greatest of the healing Lotuses. Ooh. Assembled. You gotta make that block of cheese. Yeah, not, not enough so far. I mean, if Magic Bubble's a tier one, what's block of cheese? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's the upgraded bubble, pretty much. Yeah. That would be cool. An upgrade bubble? We don't need that. No, we don't. Maybe bubble's bubble. already too strong. Maybe bubble should be a real item. Yeah. Aegis, Ag's blessing from Roshan on the ground. And that's for Amar. Double chakra. Did he take it? Yeah, he did. Right. He did. He does have this explosive thingy, reactive armor. And also level 25, double chakra. Double chakra. Yeah, so he's got the explosion, the double chakra. The question is, what do you even sell? I guess you sell this phylactery. Here we go. And he's actually going to buy Divine Rapier. Wow. That's... It's no coming from factory. Then is that you need to like yeah. you need to have something because he does have more right click damage. He's been prepping for this. Divine Rapier getting him damage, spell damage onto his Mjolnir as well. There it is, has been delivered. Can it show to be enough? Amar has Daedalus in his quick buy. <laughs> he could buy anything at this point, I think. So Zeus is sitting at good 600 damage at the moment with lightning hands. Pew, 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 pew. Grobo, Mjolnir, Parasma. He deals quite a lot of damage and win probability 50, just for a 50. second. Ferdinand, uh, our, our boy, Reginald. Reginald. Yeah, I keep messing keep saying Ferdinand. Ferdinand, yeah. That, that's the other guy. That's his twin brother. Yeah. Who's not here, by the way. Just thinking of uh, the lightning hands from Zeus, all that damage. Palpatine from Star Wars. <laughs> it is time. It is time to try to close it out. At least Mega creeps to. are coming in. Amar being the frontline guy. Ooh, they're up. Front, Ame. Bounce up into the air. With the Rolling Thunder, the BKB is going to be popped, but he's got to find somebody to go after. This is a BKB defensively and running back. So now you're without. Not just BKB. BKB. That was also his ulti. Does yeah. have He's got Death Trout. That's something, but... And it's not that long of a cooldown <sighs> on the ulti, but it is still another 25 seconds. Jump in from Amar, looking for the Pulverize. That's immediately stopped thanks to the Avalanche. Life Drain, BKB looking over at Amar. He's got the Explosion charging up. He's got a Timber Chain away. Come back into the fight for a second, but it blows up away from these heroes. So they're defending the throne, trying to survive. Two and a half minutes left on the Aegis. XM All is going Falcons. ham. Like, damage coming out from Zeus it's is pretty lot. nuts. Yeah, he's also building into Pike, so wants to have extra attack range. For now, yeah. it's going to be Dragonlance. He's actually cleaning up these creeps and these illusions pretty efficiently. Another blast once again. There's the blink in with the Avalanche. The double Chakram's going to be thrown forward, but still nothing doing. These creeps being cleaned up very quickly. The blink right on top of DY. They get the kill there onto this Pugna, as well as the Bane. So there's no supports to help him out. Amar's going to be left with a fourth of his health. They go to the Pulverize. They get the kill. So he's going to be dead. That's going to be Aegis coming back into the fight. But they've got the song. So they'll reset the three quarters of Extreme Gaming against XM. the entire side of Falcons. They're going to go for XM. They've got the double chakra. That's on everybody. So they'll look over at Ami. That's going to be Yules up into the air. XM, XXS trying to survive. But there's the uproar activation with the Rolling Thunder. That's going to bounce up Ami. They get the kill on XXS. It's the Two heroes left he on the side of Extreme. Buy. They get the kill on Ami. They look over at XM. Everybody dead. And that's going to be Falcons taking game one over Extreme Gaming. It did take them good 50 minutes to close it out. But it was Falcons throughout the whole game, pretty much. Yeah. Extreme Gaming. 